for our environmental science project, we were inspired by uh, all the other uh, integrations of technology and agriculture and gardening that existed out there, like things to measure uh, soil temperature, uh, soil moisture, uh, robots made to plant, analyze and sow seeds, robots that could drive around and uh, modify a garden, measure air quality. Those all seemed extremely interesting to us. And me having a little bit of expertise in robotics, very small amount, decided it might be something that we would like to do. Because I knew I could contribute most in the robotics department, the rest of the group brainstormed and came up with littering as our topic of choice to tackle. The image above shows the trash tag challenge, which basically spread around the internet uh, where people would go to a location to loot litter, take a picture before and after they clean it up, and then revel in the internet points at the game. Litter often ends up in oceans, and other marine animals like turtles and other fish can eat these plastics and kill themselves, really endangering the populations. Rayana, Desiree, and Sydney played mostly the role of uh, telling me what to do, really. Um, since I was mostly just like the little robotics guinea pig, I basically assembled uh, and brought to life what they thought might be cool in something that would pick up litter. So the first thing that we all thought of, obviously, was that we needed a claw. So I had to remodify an old chassis that I had. Uh, I added a claw and I took a bunch of other stuff off to make room for it. I hooked up a motor and I hooked up the electronics. This lasted for about a month and a half before finally we were done, and it turned out really nice. Here you can see the car set up as its own Wi-Fi access point, which I can then connect to, and it has its own uh, video feed from the car itself. I can then send it commands via the web connection and make the car move around, just like that. I can also press the buttons M and N to make it open its claw. Wait, wait for it to open its claw. Bam. And then close its claw with N. Uh, so overall, the clock mechanism works, and it behaves really normally. Now all we have to do is to test it. Just to note, the there is a little bit of shakiness from the video image whenever it moves. That's partially due to how its camera is not super closely secured. Camera, camera right there. And it's just kind of uh, zip-tied, so it's not super secure. Here I'm going to do the also official test of putting my finger in the clock, and testing its grip strength. It's easy to slip out, but at the same time, you can see that I can wiggle the entire robot a little bit just by moving my hand back and forth. So there is a good bit of grip strength. Here I'm testing the robot uh, for the first time in the wild. Um, I'm going to be controlling it manually via the controls on my keyboard. Uh, so what I hope is that eventually it can control itself, but right now I'm controlling it manually to see how good it is at getting an object and retrieving it. Bring it back to me. Yeah, and it's coming back to me. And thanks for collecting that little robot, dude. Another That's improvement cute. my group oh, told me to cute. do was to make it look cooler. So I added hand motion controls via an infrared sensor. This allows me to use just the position of my hands to control where the robot goes. I basically mapped out a joystick in the air so that if I put my hands up, the car drives forward. If I put my hands down, the car drives backwards, and then left and right mix equal levels of forward and backwards on the left and right motors, respectively, to create turning. One thing I would like to improve is how intuitive the controls are. Uh, it is a little tiring and uneasy to control, just with uh, these large hand movements I make. Perhaps I can make the the magnitude of the movements I would have to make to control it smaller and maybe a little less sensitive to small things because you can see the, the claw close and open with my hand only adjusting its curvature slightly when it should be closed fist closes and an open hand opens. Here I am trying to grab a piece of litter I created um, with the hand controls. It is a little finicky because the controls aren't quite as concise as nice button presses but it is really satisfying to just close your fist on the robot on the in the air and have the robot close its claws and then open your hand like that and the robot open its claws. 
Now, I did encounter some difficulties. Uh, for one, it might not be in the current state super well suited for outdoor conditions as you can see here that the torque of the wheels aren't quite high enough to overcome any kind of terrain. Uh, I tried to give it a little help by putting it in the grass already and it did manage to go for a little bit. Uh, mind you that that patch of dirt is a little bumpy, but then it ended up getting kind of stuck right there. Um, and I have to go and get it out myself. Another thing to note is that sometimes the hand controls lock up as if the the robot isn't receiving the signals or the, the hand gestures aren't being recognized and it does create problems like this where I'm doing about everything else than going backwards but it goes back. A potential future idea I had was to use a survey drone to visually recognize trash. Here I have uh, an example where the, the drone recognizes me and it actually keeps uh, about a constant distance away from me based on where I appear in its image. You can see a blue box in my computer screen. That's where it recognizes me as a person in the image. And then it uses that box to help distance itself. A similar thing could be done to litter, where a drone uh, looks for trash, recognizes it, and then tells the guard to go retrieve it. All in all, I'd say I am extremely satisfied with the outcome of this project. I really think that it has a lot of potential for actually becoming a viable prototype or even a product in the future where the collection of litter could be gamified using this drone and people would do it voluntarily uh, purely for, because it's fun, not necessarily because it's good for the, envir for the environment, but it would be a totally wonderful side effect. Doing it differently in the future, I think we would have liked to focus on a robot that doesn't just move litter around, but perhaps also plant seeds in its wake or is more directly tied to agriculture and the cultivation of plants uh, as that would be even more potentially environmentally uh, helpful and it would also serve a more popular purpose than just litter collection.